All right, so with a few comments of people wondering if you can install mods on Minecraft through the way that I installed it on you, there's a video I'll link to in the description that I made before on how to do it. You'll want to install Linux, the Linux version of Java. Everything else you're going to install is going to be the Windows edition since we're running it through Proton. You want the Linux version of Java so you can run it to install the mods. So, I already downloaded everything. I downloaded the mods I want. I downloaded Forge and Java. So what you're going to do is you go to your downloads here, and then you're going to find the Java. You're going to extract. I'm going to try to extract it here, um, but the Java instructions do want you to put it in like your home directory or something like that but pretty much only going to be using it to install uh, Forge. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, and then you're going to go on... Well, sorry. <laughs> you're going to open with on the Forge installer, and then you're going to browse the folders. We're going to go to Downloads. Then you're going to go into the F Java folder here, and then I have to remember where I found it think it was under no so I'm trying to remember where I found the folder yeah here it is J exec is what you're looking for then you click OK and then it'll open up the forge you're gonna install sorry I forgot to open with other application we're probably going to want to remember it. Browse again. Downloads. And then you're going to go to the four or go here. And then it was under lib. And then find the Java exec, J exec. Right there. Open it up. OK. And then you want to make sure you browse to your Minecraft folder. That's the step I forgot, which is under .steam, steam, steam apps, comp data. And then for me, I've noticed that Minecraft is usually one of these ones. And you're going to want to find the .minecraft folder, which is in the drive C under users, steam user, app data, roaming, and it's not in this one. So we have to go back to comp data. I'm gonna try this one because I've noticed that it's usually in there. And you just kind of go through until you find dot Minecraft. You're gonna open it up and then click open and then click okay. And then this will install Forge. And then I would also recommend, actually, if you navigate there on here, we're going to go to the deck, Steam, Steam, Steam Apps, Comp Data, and then that was like, so it was successfully installed. So I think it was this one, right? Yeah. Users, Steam user app data, roaming. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to add to places because if I that way it'll make it easier if I do other mods and things to come in here and add them in. Then you're gonna create your new folder, name it mods without a slash, just mods. And then I'm gonna open downloads and new window. And then I have two mods that I wanted to try. Looks like I downloaded the wrong version of that one. I've already, I already know that one's not gonna work. Um, let's see, mini, Minecraft mini map mod. This is the one I want. We want the 1.20.2 version. Download. 
download now. Or no, that's not what I want. I don't want that downloaded. Because I am downloading it manually. And then... Okay. 1.20.2. This one doesn't have the version installed, but I know that's going to move it to the mods folder. And then now, if you open up Steam and go to Minecraft, Okay, so now you should see the forge mode there. You click play, and then understand, you know, if, make sure you, of course, download forge from the actual forge website, um, which I believe is, let's go back here, Minecraft forge here. And you just install the installer here and everything. It's just a .jar file. Um, but if there's Linux versions of certain things you want to make sure you're downloading the Windows version aside for Java. Game crashed, which is probably because of this mod. So I'm going to just go ahead and move that back to my downloads folder, move here, and then we're going to try playing it again. Because that mod was for 1.20.1, but I wanted to try it out and see if it would work. But I wasn't really expecting it to, obviously. We'll have to figure out, <laughs> find a different one to work, I guess. But then this should boot up. And then single player. And then there you go, it is working. So again, video of how I installed Minecraft is gonna be linked in the description below. And just so you know as well with that, the way that it's going to work is, um, so the Minecraft that you install using Proton will be in a, a different folder than where your saves and everything are. Um, which you can find the way I showed you in this video for where your saves are stored and where to put mods and everything. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll talk to you later.